What's going on guys? This is Dr. Brett Rollison with Ground Overhead PT. Coming at you today with another uh, daily body armor. Uh, if you haven't done so, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we put out content almost daily, giving you guys some ideas of how to start rehabbing yourself so you can get back in the gym, get back to the training you love, get back to the sport you love. So today, what I want to talk about is hip impingement. So that pinching, sharp pain that you get in the front of the hip when you either go down and squat, when you go down on a lunge, even sometimes when you're going up and down the stairs. So what happens with hip impingement is a lot of people, they end up in that, that adducted or the knee starts caving in and the hip goes into internal rotation. And that's actually the most locked up position of the hip, which then leads to that impingement. So two bones are getting the most approximated or close together, causing that pinching sensation. So it's not that it's a strength issue, like you're not strong enough, um, but it's we need to coordinate the muscles around the hip in a way that frees up that space when you actually go down into your squat and down into your lunge. So what I have for you today, it's called a hip airplane. Uh, it's a lot tougher than it looks. So I'm gonna do it here uh, without a bar or anything assisted, but if it's too difficult for you, you can put a bar across uh, uh, up onto the uh, squat rack just to give your uh, self some stability through the exercise. So on the side that's bothering you, I'm gonna do uh, the right side. We're gonna get on our right leg. I want you to put a little bit bend in your knee. Back leg doesn't have to be completely parallel to the floor. It's just gonna be about a foot off the ground. Hands out just like the airplane. And first we're gonna come in towards our body. And we're not trying to twist with our shoulders. I want you to think about where your belly button is in space. You're trying to point that belly button about 45 degrees inward. Okay, you should feel a big stretch on the uh, glutes and outside of your hip. And we're gonna rotate out and actually contract glutes, muscles on the outside of the hip. Come up 45 degrees again and back down. Okay, so hold for two seconds on both extremes. Go through this slow. By the time you do 10 of these, it should, it should burn. You should feel uh, your butt, and uh, like I said, the muscles on the outside of the hip are really working by the end of this. Then retest your squat. What this is gonna do is gonna lead to uh, a position where the, the femoral head isn't running into that pelvis anymore. Should take care of the hip pain. So give that a try, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.